Yo, what's up? What up? What up? What up? But look, yo. So, this YouTube video. I don't know why I said that shit like that, but yeah. So, this YouTube video is about um, how to become an apprentice. What's it like? This video isn't, I'm the master electrician. I know everything about the field. Um, this video isn't, um, this video is just, let's not, let me not even talk about what the video is about. Let me talk about what the video is. And this video is basically me. I'm young. I'm 22. I just got into the electrical field. I've been working in the field for about a year and a half now. Um, and I just want to just talk about some young shit. Like I know young people click, they want to click on videos like this. They want to find out, get some more information. They haven't even jumped into the field. Um, I just wanted to talk about some things. Um, first of all, do not go to school for electrical unless you have a job. Unless you have a job, don't go to school. Cause look, you can go to, cause look, this is how it works. This is how an apprenticeship works. You gotta go there for four years, three years, whatever. But my shit's four years, and that's probably most people's shit. And basically, my school hours, once I finish my four years, my school hours only last for like six years, you know, in the federal law or whatever, however the fuck that shit works. They only last for six years. So you have to get your license right after school in between that six years, or else that those hours just expire. So your work hours, they last forever. So say you've been working in the field for like 20 years and you haven't got your electrical license, you can still go get your electrical license. You, you really are just finishing school. You probably already get paid good, but you just got to finish school and then you get paid even better. Fucking, yeah, like some guys, they were at my school and they don't even have an electrical job. Why are you wasting money at an electrical school and you don't even know if, if you're ever even going to get hired? Because there's no degree in this field. You know, this isn't like a college degree. It's all skill. It's all about what you know. So that's what I fucks with it about so far. Um, that's what I like about this shit. Like learning a trade is the shit. Like fuck all that working at Walmart bullshit. Like if you're watching this video, that means you're already interested in it. So you need to just get on it. It's already in your head. You want it. So go, go fucking get it. If you got to call 20 companies to, and tell them you don't have no experience and try to get your foot in the door, that's what you got to do. Everybody that's in the electrical field, it didn't get handed to them. Everybody. Unless their dad or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, though, everyone's capable of doing everything, but not everything is for everybody. So you got to really, you got to know. If you want to get, if you like a job where you're going to get dirty some days, um, it's going to be boring some days. You're going to go crazy some days. It's going to be stressful some days. It's just going to be something different and you don't know what the fuck is going to happen the next day. You kind of have an idea of what you're going to be doing, what you left off, but you still don't know. You don't know if a fucking truck is going to drop down, drop off a thousand fucking light fixtures um, on Wednesday afternoon, right before it's time to go home. You don't know if that shit's going to happen. You don't know if the concrete guys are going to be like, we got to pour concrete, so you guys got to do this. So now you got to stop what you were doing because now you got to work around the other construction niggas. And I'm still new to this. I'm learning every day. I'm always going to learn every day. I'm going to be 75 years old doing this shit. Maybe not that old, but I'm going to be old as fuck doing this shit and still learning something new every day, you know? So one thing about the field, one thing about the field, I'll tell you if you haven't even been in, is don't tell your coworker I know. If someone's giving you advice and you know it, don't say you know, cause there's something in there that you don't know. Like stay humble with that shit. Like there's no reason for you to act like you know when you're, you got hired because you got hired to learn. So if you act like you know everything and you really don't, it's just gonna piss off everyone. Like. That, that's the type of shit that's annoying as fuck. So even if I know something, even if I've been told something 20 times, I'm still gonna act like I never heard it before. You know why? Because who cares if they're talking? Who cares? You know you know. They know they're only telling you because 
if they're telling you every stupid detail, that's because they know that you haven't been working that long, regardless. Regardless of what you, regardless of if you've been working for five years. If they're telling you every little detail, it doesn't mean you don't know. It just means that they're telling you so you don't ask, you know, because you're going to get in a situation where you're standing there like, damn, I should have asked. It's going to fucking happen. So, But the thing is, though, all electricians expect you to ask questions. That's the best part about this field. If you question your coworker, if you question your boss why at other fields, like, why do we got to do it like that? If you, if you do that shit somewhere else, they're going to be like, don't question me. This is how we do it. It doesn't matter why. This shit, you ask why, they get into details, they explain why, so you can question these motherfuckers, like, if something doesn't make sense to you, ask why. If that shit is just, like, not clicking in your brain, ask why. Just be like, why? And for real. And if somebody acts like a dick, there's a there's dicks in every field, you know? There's dicks in every field. If somebody's acting like an asshole, this is how you gotta look at it. If he's not your fucking boss, if he's not the one that put you on and hired you, you need to tell him when you make a mistake, you need to be like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm learning. I never did this before. You didn't explain it. And you didn't explain it good. Cause honestly, if you make a mistake, it's not your fault. You gotta remember that. The journeymen are the actual licensed electricians. They're kind of responsible for the whole thing. So that's why sometimes they get mad because they get a lot of pressure on them. So you, you gotta understand that too. So you gotta really be precise. Like you gotta really listen to details. If shit's not clicking in your brain, just ask questions. If it's a stupid question, ask it. Cause this is electricity. You can't fuck it up. You fuck up some shit and we gotta redo everything and take shit out walls and do all that shit. It's way worse than just asking a dumb question. Trust me, no, if an employer doesn't allow you to ask questions, you shouldn't be working for that electrical company, but I doubt that's the case. And yeah, I just, I think um, I'm gonna keep making these YouTube videos. Um, this is just my apprenticeship shit um, information. Um, just giving some information. I'm gonna give like some real good details, some real good advice. So I have like three more videos out about this. And um, yeah, so yeah, pretty much more of, today's lesson guys looking into the field because i know there's gonna be a kid that watches my videos and he's gonna watch one video and he's gonna watch the second video and the third video to this because all in one day even though they're not all gonna be out but yeah moral of the moral of the fucking um thing if you're trying to be an apprentice electrician go hard with the applications if you really want it you'll get it so that's the one thing go hard with the applications um don't say I know. You don't know shit. Whatever you know, you don't know it. Forget about it. Whatever you think you know, you don't know. You know? And that's real shit. Like, for real, if you, if you don't know, you don't know. If you think you know, if you're like, I think I know, and you, if, you, if you're if you 99% sure that you know, then you don't know. You gotta be 100%. So, that's, that's what I'd say. I'd say, don't say you know. Go hard with the applications. And, um... What's the third golden rule? Oh, yeah, have a... Uh, I won't say that yet. I won't say that yet. I would say have a pair of Lyman pliers, too. Fucking, you're gonna need them shit. That's, like, your favorite tool. If you don't have no tools, then it's your first, like, beginner, beginner, beginner. Haven't even gone to school at all. Um, yeah, shit, if you really know you're gonna do this shit, buy some pliers, buy some lineman pliers. If you haven't even started working yet, yeah, buy some pliers this week, fucking, um, get a flat screwdriver, get simple hand tools. Just get simple hand tools at first. Don't worry about a drill gun, because when you first start, they don't expect you to have expensive shit. Like, I pretty much have, like, I don't have every tool, you'll never get every tool, but, like, I have enough to... I can get anything, I can pretty much almost get everything done, like, starting off with pliers, yeah, just start off with a pair of fucking pliers, if your first day of work starts next week or some shit, make sure you have a pair of pliers, because if you don't have that, they're just going to tell you to get it, and you're just going to feel like shit if you're using someone else's, so, 
get pliers, get a flathead screwdriver. Actually, fuck the flathead screwdriver shit. I'd say get an 11 in one because now if you get an 11 in one, now you got a flathead screwdriver, um, a Phillips, and then you have them where they're a smaller version. You got like, you literally have 11 pieces in one tool. So instead of carrying it around 11 tools, you have them all in one. So you know, get an 11 one. They only cost like $7 at Home Depot. Maybe, no, 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 they're, I got I got one on sale one time. I don't even have that shit anymore. But I got one on sale for like eight dollars. So they they don't they don't cost more than twelve dollars. Cause this is in Massachusetts. This is expensive as hell here. So I know it's probably even cheaper other places. But um, yeah, if you have an eleven and one and a flathead, and I mean if you have an eleven and one and a linesman's, that's a perfect start. That's a perfect start for you. Um, yeah, just yeah, just go hard. Don't 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 let anyone discourage you. If a if a boss goes crazy at you, like, cause you made a mistake, you gotta realize these mistakes are like. If you fuck him over, you're gonna be good. You're still gonna go home and you'll be all right. If you fuck him over, he's licensed. He could lose his fucking license. You know what I'm saying? Like, fires and shit happen with this shit. It's a serious trade. If you gotta stop smoking weed, stop smoking weed. Um. I smoke weed. I live in a state where it's legal. Um, they don't drug test me. If I am going to have a drug test, if I'm going on to a job site where the GCs are drug testing, I'll clean out my system, do whatever I got to do. I got a drug test video out too. So y'all can go check that shit out too. Um, all right, yo, it's the kid, Trey, and I'm out, man. Peace.